Humanity faces a lot of problems. Smaller problems, such as a dead battery on your telephone, but also bigger problems, so-called wicked problems. And Tilburg University offers the GMSI program, Global Management of Social Issues. And Global Management of Social Issues deals with wicked problems. You're the doctor at the table, you're the professor. <laughs> what is a wicked problem? What well, do you guys discuss in class? Well, a wicked problem is a, a sort of a special type of organizational policy problem, one that is characterized by a high complexity, so the different parts of the problem are interconnected in a way that we usually have a hard time to understand. Not my parents, but some of their friends, they don't believe in climate change because they were never taught that this was a problem. Yeah. So I think it starts with, with the young generation. It's about changing the fundamental moral and ethical values that you have. And rather than having this view of, how, of being so materialistic and being so like, I want this car, I want this thing, I want the other one. It's more about cooperation and living your life, but sustainably. So the poverty is different in the Netherlands than, for instance, in Peru. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Most definitely. Yeah. Uh, but can you say that there are no poor people then in the, in the Netherlands, or? We started out with this concept of poverty that basically means so that you need to have enough to survive, right? But in a country like the Netherlands, you could also argue that a basic need is that you have enough to be accepted socially in society. And we all need Wi-Fi, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. We all <laughs> need <laughs> Wi-Fi. It's a necessity. Your life would be very hard if you would not be able to afford it in the Netherlands because it would be very hard to apply for unemployment benefit for instance. One more question for you Monica because you said in the beginning well we need to change Venezuela which is now of course an oil country yeah. so what are you going to do? Well I think the first step that we need to take is that uh, we cannot uh, go into the high demands of energies that developed countries have with the current means of producing this energy. So the first step that we need to bring is produce energy in a more sustainable way. So more innovative ways, technologies, uh, wind, like or solar panels. But like. you have the resources to do that? No, but that's what I was saying before. We need to have a shared responsibility of countries helping other countries, like not only with money, but also with training. <laughs> Thank you so much for your in, uh, <laughs> Thank you. information. Thank you for watching and uh, good luck with everything with Thank the studies you. and Thank everything you that you do beside the studies. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.